Hello folks, Everchanger here for episode 4 of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Last time we got back to Professor Elm's lab and found out that Silver had stolen a Pokemon, and we also found out that we should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. So in this episode we are going to be heading out to Violet City. Also, in this episode I'm testing out a new microphone, so if there are any issues I apologize in advance. So, I was going to skip right over to Cherry Grove City and start from there, but I actually want to catch a Pokemon, so let's see if I can find it. Aha! Here it is. We want a Pidgey. Now this may seem a little bit random, but it actually has significance to me. Pidgey was actually the very first Pokemon that I raised all the way up to level 100 in any Pokemon game. So I figured I might as well grab one. So here I'm actually going to weaken the Pokemon, which is what you're supposed to do. And we're going to just chuck a Pokeball at it. Because last time, one of Elm's aides, well, his only aid, gave us some Pokeballs to use. One, two, three, and we got it. Awesome. Pidgey was caught. Data was added to the Pokedex. Does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Alright, sweet. We won't give a nickname to it, I don't think. Alright, now that we got that, I will meet you guys in Cherry Grove City. Oh yeah, just to note, there's a guy here. Right above the guy that saved to record his progress, right north of him is, an, is a gate, and it should go to Route 46. And indeed it does. So this is here, and you can catch Pokemon in this grass too, but unfortunately there are ledges, so we can't go very far here. I just thought I would point it out. Alright, now we're off to Cherry Grove City. Alright, here we are in Cherry Grove City. I just took the liberty to heal up my Pokemon. This is what the team's looking like. I caught a Sentret on the way here. I probably won't be using it, but I figured, hey, I might as well just grab something to fill up the empty space. So now we are going to head out north, and we're going to go to Violet City. Aha, Spinarak. This is interesting. I might use this one. I'm not positive. I haven't really planned this out. But we'll see if I can just catch it just for the heck of it. Not really entirely sure on how much I should be cutting out here because we've we've traveled half of this route before. And I'm poisoned, which is totally brilliant. Let's just throw a Pokeball at it and see what we can do. Alrighty. One. Oh, come on. It's level three, people. It's level three. Alright, let's see here now. One, two, three. There we go. Spin react was caught. It spins a web using fine but durable thread. It then waits patiently per for prey to be trapped. Alright, awesome. So now I'm poisoned, which is brilliant, so I'm just gonna go heal, and then I'll meet you back up where we saw those two trainers fighting in episode 2, how about, because that's where the path splits and we go on our new way. And we're back. Hopefully this, this um, trek up to Violet City won't be as hard as it was looking like when I got poisoned back there. For reference, the Berry Dude's house is right over there, so not really much skipping. And up here, it looks like we can finally fight these trainers, so let's get into our first proper trainer battle. I just lost, so I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Well, thank you for the total insult. And it's Youngster Joey. And he has a Rattata this time. For some reason, he didn't have his Rattata out battling last time, which is a bit odd. I'm really liking this remix. Alright, let's try out Rage. His Rattata is already level 7. That's pretty decent, actually. Oh, gosh. 
this seems a little bit more difficult than I remember this route being. I already have to whip out one of my potions. Oh yeah, I got a silk scarf. I forgot about that. Maybe I'll equip that to Totodile after this battle because it has normal type moves. Alright, Rage isn't working out for us. Let's try Scratch again. Man, I'm getting beat on. Aha, there we go. Radita fainted. Who's top percentage now, huh? <laughs> and we got to level 8, which is awesome. And we win! Yay! So what do you have to say for yourself? I'm sticking with this one no matter what. You keep telling yourself that, kid. Alright, before I forget, let me equip that Silk Scarf to... Dotodile, because all its damaging moves as of now are normal type. And one more trainer. So apparently this guy beat Joey, so let's see if we can beat him. Oh, he's got two Pokemon. This is getting serious. Oh my gosh, level 8. This is probably the only time in the whole LP where level 8 will be legitimately scary. Oh man. Uh oh. I'll have to go cross-check the levels after this, because I'm pretty sure these guys are slightly stronger than they were. I do not remember having this much, this much trouble in the original. Nope, not bag. Ah. Stop spamming quick attack, please. Oh my gosh. Well, at least we're already at level 9, which is awesome. Alright, he's about to use Weedle. Um, I think I'll stay in just because Pidgey is not that strong and I'll have to get him some levels before I expose Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this could be really, really bad, actually. If I lose this on screen... Oh ho ho Okay. This is my last potion, let's make it count. Oh my gosh. Alright. Looks like between the poison and the attack I have take 7 damage, which means I can take 2 more turns of this before I have to heal again. Alright, that dealt 6 damage. This is actually legitimately scary. Oh yes, a critical, thank god. <laughs> if I lost to a Weedle, I would have to just leave the internet forever. Oh my gosh. This has to have been curved a little bit. I've never had this much trouble. I'm going to head back and heal and I'll meet you right back here. Since I'm down here, I'm going to sell the nugget that our mother gave us and I'm gonna buy some equipment because that was quite embarrassing to be honest so I'm gonna stock up alright so I sold the nugget and I bought five antidotes and five potions and I brought us back up to five pokeballs so I'll meet you back up where those two trainers were alright now that we're back up here let's continue onward now that we're more prepared. Alright, there's someone up here, but I don't think it's a trainer. Am I right about this? Okay. So far we're staying pretty loyal to the original game, but I know of, I know for a fact that there are some things in this game that have been drastically changed, so it should be interesting to see that. Instead of bug Pokemon, I found a trainer! Uh -huh. Bugcatcher Martin. Oh great, another Weedle. <laughs> oh gosh. If I had actually lost to that Weedle, I probably would have just been done right there. Already up at level 9. I could swear these guys weren't as strong. 
I actually have the guidebook for Heart Gold and Soul Silver right here. I wonder if they have listings for this kind of stuff. Let's check it out because honestly, I do not remember this being this difficult. I mean, it's not hard specifically. It's like, it's just, I don't know. I don't remember having just this much of a challenge, having to run back and heal so much. Let's see here. Do we have a listing here? Uh, no, we don't. We don't have trainer roster listings. Thank you, Prima, for providing the information I need. Not. <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, Caterpie. We're already down at half health again. Oh, yay, yay. At least I think that silk, silk scarf seems to be helping, which is nice. I suppose it's good that these opponents are harder, though, because a, a common cri criticism of the original Gold, Silver, and Crystal is that the games were too easy. So I guess it's... I mean, it's something that had to happen for it to be a more widely accepted ROM hack. And there's another trainer up here. Or is he not a trainer? Okay, he's not a trainer. Oh, look, another... um. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> he was walking away from me while he was giving me stuff. That was weird. I don't think that's a, one of the weekday siblings, though, and it is definitely not Monday. I can assure you that that when I'm recording this, it is Wednesday. Alright, I'm going to heal up Totodile real fast so we can make it the last bit of the way to Violet City. Oh yeah, I forgot about this little animation. Alright. Now that we're all healed up, let's go on. What? This is definitely new. My name is Zane. I'm going to be the greatest Pokemon trainer in history. Hey, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Okay, this is definitely new. Hopefully I don't lose this. And the music is new, too. Alright. Porygon. This is... Interesting. Okay, I guess we have a second rival character in the game. This is... I was not aware that this was where he was introduced. Well, so hopefully we don't... we don't lose. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just a bit caught off guard. Oh great, now it's the psychic type. That's a bit random, but alright. That critical will definitely help me. Hopefully he doesn't heal. Alright, I think this should finish him off unless he heals. And he doesn't. Okay, awesome. And... Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, it does. He, he, he became the Steel type. This could be a little bit more difficult. But on a different note, I'm really digging this music. Like, this is some serious stuff. <laughs> Oh, great. Oh, gosh, what am I going to do? He's the ghost type now. I can't do anything to him. And everyone else I have is level 3. Do I even have any go attacks that will hit ghost types? I have poison sting, and that's literally it. Oh, man. This suddenly got super serious. Let's see if we can get him to do conversion again. Because the AI is pretty stupid. He might do it at some point. Alright, what's gonna happen? Oh, it failed. I'm gonna be honest, I do not remember what each of the conversions do exactly. Come on. This is quite bad, actually. I, I think we might actually be stuck. Um. Alright. Well, let's try hitting it with Leer, see what happens. Alright, conversion. Okay, good. He's back to the normal type. Now we can finally get somewhere. So hopefully he doesn't use his speed to go back to the ghost type. Let's do Scratch. Don't change into the ghost type, please. Please, please, please. Please. Okay, good. Okay. 
And we win. Awesome. What do we get from that? 143 experience. And here we are at level 11. Awesome. Alright, we defeated Pokemon Trainer Zane. That was definitely very interesting. He gave us a lot of money, too. I can't believe I lost. After all that training, I lost to some guy on the road. I need to train harder from now on. Oh, I didn't get your name. David, huh? Nice to meet you. Until next time, David. Well, he seems nice enough. Now, it's funny, I was gonna end this episode when we got to Violet City, but I think that battle actually took a decent amount of time, so I think I'm gonna end it here, and next episode we're gonna go to Violet City, so... That was the fight against Pokemon Trainer Zane. Hope you enjoyed that little surprise, and next time we're gonna be heading further north. See you guys next time.